I'm in sound and I saw the Twilight Zone episode 34, The After Hours. It is directed by Douglas Hayes, written by Rod Serling. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts with following a lady and she needs a gold thimble. And the only place to get a gold thimble is on the ninth floor. So she takes an elevator up to the ninth floor and there's nothing on the ninth floor. Oh boy, I saw this I was like, what? type of trickery is happening here. This seems like somebody took up shop in an abandoned floor of the department store, like where they keep all the storage and such, and she just miraculously was able to come up here and ask for a gold thimble. And it was the only thing they sold. And she's freaked out normally, as a normal person. I'm freaked out because it's like, why do they only have one thing up there? Is this some sort of weird genie situation? I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm also just as confused as this lady is. She's like, oh man, I should have looked. My gold thimble. It's all scratched and dented. Oh man, I have to go back up and talk to the lady about the thimble. And the elevator man's like, go to the third floor for complaints. And so she goes to the complaints desk and talks to the guy. Hey, I went up to the ninth floor and, you know, I got this gold thimble, but they sold me a thing and it's all scratched and dented. Could you help me? And this man's like, there's no ninth floor. What? <laughs> I'm listening to this, watching this like, wait, hold on. How, how is there not a ninth floor? Wait, how, where did she go then? Why are people not aware of the ninth floor? Do employees not know about the ninth floor? And she's like, well, I insist there's a ninth floor, I swear. And even like the head of the store is like, there's no ninth floor here, lady. I'm confused, she's confused. It seems like she's freaking out. She's having a crisis of reality. And if I were in her position, I would too. It feels like I'm being gaslit by the store. And they're saying it enough, with enough conviction, that there is not, in fact, a ninth floor that it would make me go insane too. So this lady's going insane. She's like, but there's no ninth floor. Wait, there's no ninth floor? How, wh where did I get this thimble from? And of course, she's drawn back to the ninth floor. And it's like, wait, this elevator is back here again. What's going on here? Oh, the elevator man's gone? Uh, she goes up to the ninth floor and there's just a bunch of mannequins. And she was able to encounter a mannequin that looks like the lady who sold her the thimble, like, on a lower floor. But, like, the elevator dude mannequin was on the ninth floor and there's just a bunch of mannequins there. And I'm just like, this is so weird. And then those mannequins come to life and start talking to her. I'm like, this is so weird. What is going on? What is up with all these mannequins? Are these mannequins haunted or something? Is this store haunted? No. It's not that. What it is, is it's the fact that she has a month to be a real person until she's converted back into becoming a mannequin. She's a mannequin. <sighs> Upon this revelation, I'm like, what is this? This is such a weird episode, man. I'm losing my mind watching this episode. Like, how does this work? How does the mannequin thing work? How does a mannequin turn into a person for a month? How does... How do these mannequins determine who gets to be a person for the next month? This revelation of what she actually is just opened so many questions. Like, I just want to know the organization of the mannequins. How, how do they decide who goes next? Is it, is it by good boy points? Like brownie points or something? This episode doesn't really explain the whole system of how mannequins are chosen to leave <laughs> and be a person for the month, but it does explain why people are saying there's not a ninth floor. It's because it doesn't exist. There's a bunch of mannequins up there. It's just effectively a storage closet. No one goes up to the storage closet unless, you know, storage. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's uh, so trippy. This episode has made me feel 
Like, I don't know what reality is. It's made me question reality. It made me question her reality. It makes me wonder, how is there a ninth floor? And also, I like the nice added touch of her mannequin being put out for display at the very, very end. It's like, oh, now she's chilling. Okay, so she's gonna be a mannequin for like 11 months? And then she gets to be a person for a month. Where does all that food go that she ate the day before she got turned back into a mannequin? Just asking. This is a weird episode. I'm not exactly sure how to feel about this episode, except for unsettled. This makes me feel weird and spooky and scared, <laughs> honestly. I like the actresses' performances. I like everybody's performance. In the Twilight Zone, everybody's doing their best job, and I can see it, and I can feel it, and I really appreciate it, and I especially appreciate the cameraman. This episode is a weird one. I gotta give this episode, it's like a solid... 7.3 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track movie review, you can do that for $20 Redinos at patreon.com slash ASA Presents. And if you like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree. Find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So go here. And until next time on Min Salad Saw, I'll see you later to my salad croutons and bacon bits. <laughs>